Two years ago, Samsung launched the 980 Pro, all right, and it gained the title King of NVMEs. But then again, people will always want faster NVMEs, lah. faster storage, faster reading, faster writing. Whatever that's faster, it makes it work better. Yeah. But anyway, to address that, August this year, Samsung has announced the 990 Pro. All right, so it's advertised to have a 7450 megabytes per second read speed and 6900 megabytes per second write speed. So before I go into the details, let's just have a quick look on what's inside here. Okay, so box, a tray, a very nice black PCB, but honestly, whatever color doesn't matter, but aesthetically it looks good. Okay, it's a single-sided NVMe. And underneath this tray, is a installation guide and warranty statement. Um, actually, you don't need to read. La. Installation guide. Just plug it into your PC and let Windows do its job. All right? Warranty statement, also don't need to read. That's a five-year limited warranty printed right behind the box. Uh, and if not mistaken, it has a 1,200 terabyte written warranty limit for the two terabytes. So for the 990 Pro, it comes in two storage sizes at, at the moment. Uh, there's a one terabyte model, there's a two terabyte model. And it. I think next year, they're gonna announce the four terabyte model. Uh, of course, all this is just still um, not confirmed yet. Lah. Okay, what we have here is the two terabyte model. On top of that, there is also a variant where you will get it with the heatsink on top. So it really depends on what you're using this for. If you're going to use it on the PC, most motherboards nowadays comes with a heatsink on top of it already. So you don't need to buy the heatsink model. But if you're going to plug this into your PS5, get the heatsink version. Um, because this guy's, due to its uh, fast writing and reading speed, right, they tend to heat up a bit. So it's better to have a bit of heatsink on top of it. So we ran this guy through a test, a benchmark test on the test bench here. So, but before we give you the benchmark results, let me just introduce our test bench. This here, the motherboard is an ASRock X670E Tai Chi Carrera. The Deepcool AK620 or 640, nah, not, not important, it's a double, double, double 120 fan, okay? RTX 3070, and two pieces of 16 gig G-Skill Trident Z. So this motherboard here is actually a PCIe 5 uh, NVMe slot and we've connected this to the CPU slot itself. But before we actually go into the benchmark, <clears throat> because the benchmark numbers are actually for people who really knows how to read the numbers. So for layman users out there, if you're wondering if you, should you buy this, this NVMe for your personal use, for your new PC, for your main hard disk, this is what I can tell you. Based on the results that we got, the numbers are really fast, so it's very good. Okay, uh, technology-wise, up to date, the latest ones, and affordability. Now that one, that one's a bit iffy here. So we don't know. We can't really say if this is expensive or cheap. It really depends on what you can afford because uh, NVMEs come in different quality, different pricing. But if you want something really good, it falls within this price range. The two terabyte model uh, goes for about 1,008, 1,900 ringgit. Okay. Um, as of today, as of now, when we're recording this video, this has yet to be launched. So there is no confirmation for the pricing yet, but this is a rough figure that I can give you. Um, but of course, if two terabyte is too much for you, you don't need two terabyte of storage, you can go for the one terabyte variant. And if your motherboard doesn't come with a heatsink, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, with a heatsink covering this, then I, I recommend that you go for the heatsink variant. Because the heatsink version, because this one is very fast. The faster it runs, the more heat it produces. So you need something to dissipate the heat. So it's better to get a heatsink for it, if your motherboard does not have a heatsink for NVMEs. Okay? The 990 Pro 
for PC users, I would highly recommend it. If you want something fast, you want something robust, you want something reliable, you can go for this. Okay? But there is a, a bit of like a regret, lah, I would say it's regret. Lah. A, bit, a bit sad, lah. I'm a bit disappointed lah, because nowadays PCIe 5 for NVMe is the latest type already. But somehow there aren't any companies that have come up with a PCIe Gen 5 yet for NVMe's. Even this one, the latest one, which was announced in, announced in August this year, is still a Gen 4. I mean, when, when will we be able to see one? So Samsung, I hope your next one's uh, Gen 5. For console users, highly recommended, okay? Why? Okay, very simple. The predecessor, the 90 Pro, it's actually faster than the native PS5 SSD itself, the NVMe. Lah. So what more to say, lah? the 990 Pro, which is uh, 7,400 megabytes per second read speed, which is like 400 megs per second. Actually, not much difference lah, for read speed. But the write speed, the write speed for this is a 6950 MBS in comparison to the 980 Pro, which is a 5100. So it's a lot faster. Lah. Okay, so PS5 uses a new option for you. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'm going to end this video with the benchmark numbers. Have a look at it if you're, if you're interested.